Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Ty's Christian Adventure. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my 2019 reel setup and my weight setup. So I uh, just kind of wanted to go over that. I got rods on here as well and I do like the rods I have, but they may or may not be around for 2019 season. Um, but the reels 100% are going to be in the building. So uh, I want to kind of go over that with you guys. And one little surprise thing I want to talk to you guys about with the new thing I picked up. So I'm excited to get to throw that around. Um, but I want to kind of just dive right in. So 2019 real arsenal. So I'm going to keep it pretty straightforward and simple. So um, this will kind of be my workhorse reel here. Hopefully you guys can see it clearly. I'm sorry about that guys. What the deal is here. So 2019 real. First one out the gate. Shimano Corrado K. This is an 8, 5 to 1 gear ratio. Um, this one's going to be for my jig, Texas rig, things like that. Something I need to pick up a lot of line quickly. I'm going to be using the Shimano Corrado K. 8, 5 to 1 gear ratio, right, right hand model. Next up, you guys have seen me do a video on this one before. This is kind of an older model of the reel, but I really like it. It's a Shimano Corrado's 200 G6 reel. This one is a slower gear ratio, 6, 5 to 1. And you kind of see on there, I got a lipless. I mean, I'm not, the lures mean nothing in this video. I'm just kind of going over the reels specifically. But um, I tie on all kinds of stuff to everything. I, I want to play around with as much as I can to find out what really, really works good. But um, I've got it on here in case I, you know, I do want to slow down. Um, I got it on there because I was fishing this cold weather, so trying to slow down. But um, this one I'm going to use primarily for my uh, crankbaits. Because um, it is that 6, 5 to 1 gear ratio, slower. I also have it rigged up with spool speed bearings on here as well. So it casts like, it's an older reel, but it casts really smooth, really good because of got those upgraded bearings um, in there as well. And did a little bit of maintenance to it. Um, so Shimano Corrado as well. So if you guys notice in the theme here, Shimano Corrado is the deal so far. So we'll just keep it going. Next reel. This one's going to be for my uh, jerk baits. Um, Kind of things with treble hooks, shorter, things I need to twitch, twitch kind of deal. Um, but this is a Shimano Kanan. It's a 7 2 to 1 gear ratio, so a little bit faster. But this one I specifically use for throwing um, jerk baits, things like that. It's pretty much all I'm throwing jerk baits, hard jerk baits, or soft blasted jerk baits. I also have a shorter rod. This rod is pretty much going to stick with me. But um, this is a Shimano uh, Kanan reel that I'm going to be using for my sh uh, anything I got to twitch twitch a little bit I love it I have it spooled up with some braid backing and then I have 12 pound Sunline FC Sniper mainline um, and then braid braid backing but this is for my uh, jerk baits um, kind of give you guys I'm, my bad I meant to give you guys as I go along the price so the Corrado K I got it off of eBay so I got a pretty good deal on it, it was about $159 for the Corrado K off of eBay the uh, Corrado 200G reel I actually made a trade for that off of Craigslist. So a guy was trading, he was he wanted to trade me this reel and something else for some one of the 9,000 things I got for sale on Craigslist. So this one I actually didn't pay for, I just made a trade off Craigslist for, for this one. This is the uh, Canaan, I got a deal on it off of uh, eBay for I believe... $59, maybe $49, something like that. Um, got a deal on it off of uh, eBay. So keep it going. Next up, switching over to the left hand model. Um, this is a left hand model. This is actually a Shimano Cronarch um, CI4 Plus. So again, this is a little bit older one as well. Um, real, but it is silky smooth and cast a mile. I don't know if you guys can see on the side there. Trying to show you the thing. So, if you guys watched my last YouTube video, you see this is the one I caught the almost four pounder on, I believe, on this exact same lure, and I haven't taken it off yet. Um, good things happen when I don't take, typically take stuff off. But this is a um, uh, Cronarch. It has the X ship technology, seven six to one gear ratio, and again, left hand model. I'm left handed, but I don't. I I love you guys. Always see me with a spinner reel in my hand because I'm I'm left handed. I love it, and it could feel so comfortable. So transition into kind of using my bait casters left hand. But I've been when I started fishing, I use the right hand. So I, I and I, I do a lot of things right hand. I shoot basketball right hand. I shoot basketball left hand. I, baseball I hit right hand. I hit left hand. Golf I hit right hand. I hit left hand. It's kind of kind of do it all kind of. 
both and get comfortable with one and then I try to switch to the other and make sure I'm staying um, don't get too complacent I like to keep keep my body guessing um, so the left hand model on this one this one I actually got from a pawn shop so I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys telling you guys got this from a pawn shop I got this in the uh, Abu Garcia re rod with it all together I worked out a deal for the guy to get the rod and this I think it all for 129 dollars so this Cronarch and that real rod um, for, for a really good price I looked it up it's, it's pretty expensive and last but not least this is the brand new creme de la creme most I've spent on a bait caster in my life and I will say this right off the bat it is Oh boy, if you don't have one, I'm recommending that you get near one, find one, make it happen. I'm trying to tell you, you you will not be disappointed. So this is the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Corrado DC. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm so sorry. Corrado DC, guys. This thing, the sound on it when you cast it out and to the end oh man and all I've done is cast this thing in my house in the snow that's all I've done and this thing is almost made me want to replace every reel and I got except for it will cost me a thousand dollars but I almost made me want to just replace every single thing I got other than the Shimano's I got but dude this thing is a beast like it is beautiful and it launches with ease I'm talking I just took it out pitched a little 3 16 ounce with a cr creature bait flicked it out nice and easy in the yard next thing i know this thing is almost out in my street somewhere this this thing cast it's it's beautiful it's and i and this is the thing this out the box i didn't adjust anything i didn't adjust the dial i didn't adjust i didn't adjust nothing all i just was tension and put the drag down and then i started casting and it was beautiful so um corrado dc love it so um, that is my arsenal for bait casting reels for 2019. That's that's what it is. That's what it's gonna be um, for spinning. I still got my cadence fishing gear. Um, cadence fishing. I have a, a ton of cadence fishing reels and rods. So that's the cadence. I love 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 them for my spinning gear. And the good thing about it is too, I also have additional reels as well that I will be using um, for the karate. I'm gonna use the Shimano's, of course. But I also got two brand new. Bait casters from Cadence. I got a 6.6 six to 1, a little bit slower for my crankbaits, and this matte red finish is beautiful. And I also have a black one, 7.3 to 1 gear ratio, left handed model that I've been actually been casting this quite a bit. And this thing is silky smooth and cast a mile too. It's really, really good. These are really, really affordable. I got, I mean, you're talking like 49 bucks um, for bait casting reels. These things are great. So Cadence Fishing Reels, check these bad boys out whenever you get a chance. Uh, Amazon or Cadence Fishing the website. Um, dude, you guys got to check these out, but these I have as well. So I have, I, of course, I always keep reels in the bag. I keep extra, you got extra rods. I keep reels, like I said, reels in the bag. I got them all on deck. And then basically for all of them, I spool them up with different things. So depending on what tournament I'm going to, um, 12 pound line, 10 pound line, 15 pound line, uh, for my bait casters, boom, pretty much set for that. And then on my spinning, I put eight, six, um, 10 but that's rare mostly eight and six on my spinning spinning um presentations and then if i need a little bit heavier i also always will one up a braid um 50 pound braid 65 pound braid just depends on what i'm doing some i put 30 pound braid it really doesn't once i do my research and know where i'm going then i kind of take it from there with the uh what i'm going to put on it so um kind of wanted to do that real quick for you guys 2019 real arsenal i will be doing a follow-up to it with the rods that i will have in 2019 but right now actually what i'm doing is kind of cycling through every single rod i have i have a ton of them just cycling through each of them actions messing with different things kind of getting a good feel for what i think i'm going to want to have um in the boat for me for 2019 and then last but not least the hat and you can see check that out so i love the hat and that's all I got guys for today. I'm doing a quick video for you guys just going over the reels I have. I did mention one surprise, so I'll kind of show you guys this. Um, the other thing is my weights and stuff I'm using for 2019. I mentioned that as well. I'm using all Wu Tungsten here, so Wu Tungsten is the deal um, for my weights. I got tungsten weights here for Wu Tungsten. I got a whole, whole box here full of my 
weights that I'll be using. So anything that I'm using weight wise. Also my shaky heads, they came out with these as well, Wu Tungsten shaky heads. So I'm using Wu Tungsten for my shaky heads, Wu Tungsten for my weights, for my flipping, um, Texas rig, things like that. Also using Wu Tungsten, um, bobber stops for Wu Tungsten, uh, Wu Tungsten drop shot weights at different colors, silver, green pumpkin, black, um, everything out there. Like I said, it's Wu Tungsten when it comes to my weights for 2019. So I want to talk a little bit about my weights. And then the other thing I'm going to be doing all winter long is throwing these things. So big, big baits, big, big baits. And I got a setup coming for the big, big baits as well. I got um, a uh, extra heavy rod that holds from 4 to 8 ounces, I believe. Or I'm sorry, maybe 5 to 12 ounces. I'm not sure. I got the biggest one I could possibly get. And then I got a 300 series uh, reel coming. That's going to help with throwing big, bigger baits. So this is the Bull Shad. This is the Wake version. Hoping for Christmas I'm going to get the Slow Sink version. 5 inch Gizzard Shad as well. And I'm also trying to get the Trout Pattern as well. So uh, we'll see if I can make this all happen. That will give me three Bull Shads. Look out for this Bull Shad. Big rod. Big reel. Big line. Let's go. That I can't. I, I can't wait, guys. I'm so excited to start throwing this kind of stuff around throughout the winter. Come back uh, around February, March. It's time to lock back in on the uh, getting ready to catch these catch these bass presentations around the area and the trail I'm going to fish. So again, coming up soon, I'll let you guys know what trail I'm fishing. Um, my plans for 2019 when it comes to fishing and, and how I plan to elevate myself from here to here. Um, by trying to make some moves and things like that. So I'll keep you guys informed, let you guys know what's going on. But as always, appreciate the support. Hope you guys enjoy. Got more videos coming. And peace, peace. I'm out.